Welcome to the Reddit Chronicles. Today we will be reading from True Off My Chest. Our first post is by Icefall. My parents kicked me out for getting a girl pregnant over 13 years later, they want to be in me and my daughter's life. So when I was 15 I got my then girlfriend pregnant, when I told my parents I didn't know what their reaction would be, it was worse than I thought they just kicked me out called me irresponsible and stupid and told me they were ashamed to have me as their son. I packed a few bags and called around. I ended up living with my Aunt B, my sweet aunt who at the time was a widow and newly empty nest. She took me in with loving arms. Fast forward my then girlfriend had our baby girl for the first two months. I would spend most of my time at my girlfriend's house to help care for our baby. One night my girlfriend came over saying she couldn't do this anymore and that she wasn't meant to be a mom and I could have it if I wanted to but she's done. She quickly became my ex-girlfriend and I decided I would raise my daughter on my own. It helps I had amazing support from my aunt and cousins I was able to finish school and get a great job. Fast forward to yesterday. I am now 29 with a 13 year old daughter. We live two hours away from where I grew up in a condo perfect for just my daughter. And I very content with my life. My daughter had a soccer tournament a little over two hours away very close to where I grew up. While waiting for my daughter's next game, I had gone to the car to just sit in the AC and away from the sun for a bit while my daughter was hanging out with her teammates. All of a sudden someone called my name. I looked around and saw my parents. I was in shock to say the least. They asked what was I doing. I said well after you kicked me out I had a daughter who's 13 now I'm here for her. Then I asked what are they doing? I have a niece who is 11 and also plays soccer at this sports complex. They then apologized saying they now know they overreacted and would love to get to know me again and meet their granddaughter. I was still in shock seeing them and told them I'd think about it and asked for my mom's number so I could contact her if I decided to let them meet my daughter. I just have no idea what to do. I don't want them to cause mental harm to my baby the same way they did to me. Our next post is by Wandering Wifey. My mother-in-law is trying to save me from her own son. It just hit me this morning as I sat processing my most recent appointment. It was at her insistence that I saw a therapist that worked closely with women's health. My mother-in-law is the one that briefed the therapist on the situation with her son and his addiction. My therapist asked, does your mother-in-law know how bad the situation at home can get? For a moment I didn't answer, and the pieces slowly came together as I spoke. I didn't need to. She saw the holes in the wall, and now the shattered glass in the cabinet. I didn't even have a conversation about the cabinet. She texted me after that she was booking me with you, and that a wife should never fear her husband, but I never said I was afraid, she knew. I cannot imagine how hard this must have been for my mother-in-law. Accepting her son is capable of evil, and knowing the therapist would guide me into seeing the addiction and abuse wasn't normal, knowing it would leave to me putting plans in place to leave him. She did this knowing the divorce will be nasty, and I will have main custody of the kids. This woman stood up for other woman over her son, and I don't know how to begin to thank her. Edit. Info. Father-in-law and mother-in-law grew up in physically abusive households they are not abusive. My husband is verbally abusive. The concern is it transferring from holes in the walls, smashed glass to my face being met with his fist. For those that don't see holes in walls as warnings, that you are blind the way I was, it can turn on a dime, it's a question of when. I had become so used to it pre-addiction that it no longer phased me as not normal. The addiction has ramped his anger issues up. I do not feel safe saying no when he asks to spend money on it. Edit 2. I promise to continue to update and make posts. It's hard for me to not delete, because this addiction dot and what it's done, dot not only is it not talked about, on the rise according to my therapist and WHO has classified it as a disorder similar to gambling, but people that don't get it are like, what a loser. Please understand this is a 13 year relationship, married for 9 of them, and he was not always like this. I love the man I married. I do not love this man that has replaced him. Our next post is by Saturday. My son kicked me in the stomach and my husband slapped him. Our son is 11 years old. Lately he's wanted to stay home from school a lot. I know that it's not good but I've let him. He's so sleepy in the morning it breaks my heart to try to force him. And I can't really force him anymore. I also have two younger children I need to tend to in the morning. I've asked my son if something is wrong at school but he said, no I just want to sleep. My husband goes to work before our son has to wake up. 
but he caught on to him missing school and he was not happy about it. He spoke to him and my son has been very good for the past couple weeks. Until Friday, I went to wake him and he said, mommy, I'm too tired. He rarely calls me mommy anymore. I felt bad but I kept trying to coax him out of bed. I didn't want to go against my husband. My son told me, dad's not here, chill. I told him that his father wants what's best for him. And so do I, I tried to touch him and he kicked me in the stomach. I was shocked and it was very painful. I left his room and cried in the bathroom. I didn't try to fight him anymore because I had to take care of my other kids. My son has never hurt me like that before. I ended up having a bruise on my stomach. When my husband was home and found out what had happened, he told me he'd talk to him. Our son was playing video games and he called him over. He asked him, did you kick your mother? My son started saying, I'm sorry, dad, I was mad. My husband slapped him across the face. He asked him, do you want to kick me now? My son shook his head. No, my husband said, because you know I'm stronger than you are. You're not tough for hurting your mother. You will never act like that again. Do you understand? When my husband let him go, I went over to check on him. His face was so red and he was fighting back tears. I got an ice pack and I was icing his face. He told me, it's okay, I deserved that. He hugged me and later made me a card apologizing which was very sweet. I know husband just wanted to teach our son, but I didn't like him hitting our child. In our culture that's common but my husband has taken better approaches. I don't know if I'm being oversensitive but it's hard to see your child hurt as a mother even if my husband is right. Our next post is by Ashamed Mention. My best friend was pregnant and we did not know until she had the kid in the backseat of my car. I'm still in shock about the whole thing, so I'm sorry if the details aren't the best, and I know this sounds straight out of a movie but I promise it isn't. But my best friend, F-17, we will call her Holly, had a baby Saturday night. She did not know she was pregnant, and neither did I, and honestly she didn't even look pregnant the entire time, and showed virtually no symptoms of pregnancy. So when she went into labor after us going to the seamstress for our prom dresses, I was under the impression she was having like really horrible period pain. Until my other friend was also there, Sal, and I'm the one driving at this point. So she has a full view on the entire situation, and she drops on me that she thinks she's having a baby. So I'm panicking and just driving towards a hospital at this point. But Sal and Holly started screaming at me to pull over, and I kid you not, the baby girl was out in under 10 minutes upon pulling over. The baby cried and it looked full term. But at the same time, I never seen childbirth so I have no idea if the baby actually was, but it looked like a newborn to me. After the baby was born, we sat in silence for like 5 minutes, and Holly breaks the silence for us to go pick up Ethan, the baby daddy, her boyfriend. So we go pick him up and dude was dumbfounded to the point he thought we were pranking him, until he saw the baby was still attached to her via umbilical cord, we had nothing to cut it with. Sal then starts saying we need to go to a hospital and call our parents because this is way bigger than us at this point. Holly doesn't want us to do neither because her parents would freak on her and no longer pay for her college. Plus she didn't want to be a mom and she knew her parents would probably force her to raise it. So we decided that we're going to leave the baby at a firehouse. We go to Target and bought a basket three blankets, scissors, first aid stuff and clips, we successfully were able to detach the baby from her. We had to wait until night so no one will see us do the drop off. She wrote a long note and left it in the basket. We then dropped the baby off at the fire station, and we watched and waited to confirm that the firefighters retrieved the baby, and luckily they did. Afterwards I dropped off everyone to their houses and we swore secrecy to never tell anyone about that night. Holly sent me like $200 to get my backseat detailed and cleaned. I know you guys are probably wondering what's the issue then for you to be here complaining. Well Holly I saw her today and she looks awful and not in a postpartum way like she looks extremely sick very pale and has a fever. I think she needs medical attention because we think she might have an infection. Sal thinks it's because her placenta is still inside of her. But regardless I'm scared for my friend and I don't want her to die and I could have prevented it, but I'm sorry about ranting. I just have no one to talk to about this, and I'm worried about her and the baby girl that was surrendered because again she didn't know she was pregnant, had zero prenatal, and she was drinking and smoking. Thank you for listening to the Reddit Chronicles. Follow for more content.